between them. And in terms of how this matchup might unfold, uh, it comes down to if Ice is able to get his kills or not. And so far, Ice has been doing all right with that. He, you know, we saw his set versus Ace. At times, he was struggling to kill, and at other times, he was doing, you know, he was finding his mark. So we'll see how things end up panning out here. Right now, Ice has a decent lead, already 52% onto Swigsy, and for the most part, he's been playing around these Pikmin really, really well. That is one thing about Ice. He is a fantastic player in neutral, pretty cerebral, honestly. Uh, one of the better neutral players out here in Westchester. Um, that being said, Swigsy's punish game, we've already seen what it can do. That was honestly amazing from Swigsy. He held back just enough that the uh, that, that counter completely with actually left Ice open and vulnerable. And now, this he's going for counter a lot. He is expecting Swigsy to just rush in and hit him. And definitely that's not something that, that, that feels like it's in Swigsy's game plan right now. Ice is going to have to adapt. And without our sadness, killing this tiny little Olimar is going to become that much more difficult. Already can kind of be hard for taller characters like Joker to hit Olimar and... Now he actually has to make a comeback happen. 111% without our send. Man, one up smash, and I don't even want to think about how much damage ice might take. Nice down tilt, but it's not enough to actually do it just yet. I cannot believe he lived that back end. This guy's at 150. What, what's going on? Ugh, I was saying how Ice was kind of struggling to kill before, and... Oh, I think that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be an MO. It's gonna be an MO of tonight. Olimar is, he is a light character. He should not be living to 150 against Arsene. Granted, Ice ended up cleaning up that stock and only took about 52%, which is basically a, a single low percent Olimar combo. Um, and he's been able to slowly make that deficit back to the point where it's pretty much an even game here. You know, just like how we saw in that last game that uh, Swigsy played against Local Man Matty, one of the most important parts in dealing with a character like a zoner like Olimar is a dash attack, is a burst option of some kind. And uh, it requires sometimes committing to that. Ice, though, he's more of a careful player. He doesn't rush in when he doesn't have to. And unless he really has recognized a whiff on Swigsy's part, he's not going to try and go in. Oh, uh, maybe he is, and it's just not going to hit, though. Oh, man. These aggressive options for Ice not really working out at the moment. No jump, Olimar. Swigsy's going to wind him off stage. He has to recover. I don't know how that down air missed. I don't know how he teched that down air. I don't know how that down air was even techable, but uh, sure. Oh, man. That's the, the fact that Olimar is so tiny. He was just far enough away, just short enough that that up smash, the, it was almost a point blank up smash, just a whiff. Swigsy once again with this lead. Let's see what he can do with it. He has three purple. Oh, no. That's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why, but purple are the funniest when they, uh, when they have to, like, zoom back towards Olimar. <laughs> feels like somebody like is just dragging a, a still image across the screen. <laughs> right, things have been evened up though. Completely neck and neck in percent. Arsene though about to go live. It's the sort of thing where Arsene though might have come out just a little bit too early. He's going to be losing it pretty soon, especially considering all the damage he's taking right now. Yikes, I came in right at the Ooh. end to see Ice die. That yeah. is very important. He got up right at the top. Yeah. I mean, swings are just kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of put him through the wood chipper. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, I know exactly how that feels. I know. I wanted to say something plant related because it's Olimar. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a blender. It's a wood chipper. Nah, which of course, a wood chipper. <laughs> Definitely, that's what he puts his unneeded Pikmin in. <laughs> oh my God! He just throws they them just, away. They just look at him with their sad, large eyes. They it's probably like, don't even understand what's about to happen to them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he just does. They just explode. Sadly. 
All right, moving into game two here. The big thing is that uh, Ice wasn't killing. He had Arsene and Swigzy was alive at 150. What? Yes. That doesn't make any sense. I. Good <laughs> that point. Doesn't make I any agree. Sense at all. <laughs> if you, if I see Arsene on the field, Olimar should be dead before he reaches 100 percent, bro. He lands him with that back or even an up air, and I don't understand why he went. I don't understand why he went to a stage this big. Like you, if you weren't killing him early before, oh dear God! If you weren't killing him that early before, why go this character? Um, why go this I stage? I feel like he wanted a smaller stage. Um, in Ice's mind, maybe that not killing wasn't the issue. The issue more had to do with in neutral having alternate angles attack against Olimar can be big. I mean, what what even was that? That was robbery. That's what that was. What percent was he at? Quick I, pop quiz before the hit. <laughs> Were you? Were he you was at like. In class? He was at like fifty something. <laughs> he was at like fifty something. He was at like fifty something, and that backer just exploded. Him. Jesus Christ! Like we're not new to this anything anymore. We know what when Arson's on the field, he's a thief for a reason. He's going to steal that stock. Like <laughs> we're not new to this. Like we know what happens. We shouldn't be surprised anymore when we see a character die at an unreasonable percent at, by Arson backer, and he is still alive. He got hit by that purple Pikmin, and he is still living at one fifty eight. And I, he's gone. Bye bye. Yeah, no, that's whenever you're against Olimar at kill percents, you have to pay attention to the Pikmin order. Yeah. If there's a purple, you know he's looking for a smash attack on aerial. And if that blue is what's in front, the grab is definitely what's on his mind. Indeed. I was not paying attention to that when I was playing him earlier. Yeah. Ever. Well, when, you have, uh, when you have two purples, uh, that's double mash. Yes. <laughs> the big mash. Purple, purple, red is also a very good combination too, because that's just raw, da unfiltered damage. It's coming straight out of the world. Does the red do more damage than the? Uh, the red does more damage than yellow and blue and white. But white, like if you get hit while you have while you have white on you, oof, that's you're taking a chunk of damage. It's like a damage multiplier. Oh, that F two actually killed him. I mean, listen, we, we were we were complaining before about how Ice wasn't killing in that last game, and so. <laughs> Despite the fact we moved the commentary set up like 40 feet away, <laughs> apparently he heard us and he's like, don't worry, I figured out what needs to happen. He really did, and it's like, it's surp I'm surprised he's getting all these early stocks now on a, on a stage with like wider blast zones. Well, the thing is, I do think that the stage is just lending itself to those stocks happening. You know, he's able to play the neutral better, and as a result, he's uh, get, uh. getting stages. Uh, most of his kills have been at the ledge, admittedly. Yeah, like we saw that first robbery of that back air. I, I like the attempt. I like the attempt. Oh my god, he had no invincibility. And I don't think he's making it back. No, he's not. Uh, was there any spacing where he might have been able to make it back? If he, I feel like if he waited like a, like a half a second earlier, he might have been able to make it back. Now he has to. Oh my god, that F match is barely missed. Oh, he's dead. That was such a good confirm. <laughs> and he that also so he made sure to go past the platform. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he still landed on the platform, he still would have hit him. Like, that would have been, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? That would have been an up, the upshot still would have hit regardless. Like, but it looks cooler when you drag him all the way down. To that's the floor. true. That's true. He did just wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good stuff to the I guess stuff the ice, you know, taking that game. All right, and I mean, if you are Swigzy, what went wrong for you that last game? He wasn't pressing enough buttons. Uh, no, I mean, what I would say is he got back here at 50 and died. That's true. <laughs> because I think was he, was, he had a massive <laughs> lead before that. Admittedly, he had a really big lead. And then, it like like a thief in a knife, a thief in a knife, it got snatched by a thief with a knife. <laughs> yep. So this time around, when Arsene is in effect, I hope that Swigzy just respects it a little bit more, mm -hmm. recognizes sort of the loss condition. You know what I mean? Because. Oh my god, that Pikmin through the ledge. I don't see gigantic. Nice, wonderful tech. I but can't get off the ledge. That's a terrible spot for Arsene to actually come into play. Yeah. Because uh, look at all the you know, the damage he took. He's going to get no mileage off of it. Arsene's pretty much gone already. Yep. Unable to get any damage off. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, and he got smoked. Wait, did he recognize? Wait, did he grab him with the blue? I think that was blue grab, but it's okay. He duffs him out of the skies anyways. Really sizable belief for Swigzy. Right, Ice now actually staying right on top of Swigzy, the way he's constantly in his face, in oh his dear. zone. This isn't good. Oh. This is not good. Yeah, the purple on him too. Look at this big damage. Pur uh, not, not purple, the white. White's back on him. Look how much damage he's taking. He does it. Oh, and he didn't even know how to kill it. 
He couldn't tell where it was on his body because freaking Arsene is just so big. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now he's, right. he's scrambling to find his sock right now. Oh, he needs anything. And the, the Arsene is about to expire. Swigzy, uh, you're off stage. It's scary, but also you're fine because that's it. His kill power has just seriously been nerfed into the Ooh, ground. Look was, at that. Even that was cute. Though. I don't know why he went for that instead of a smash attack, but that was cute. I think he would, he jumped in anticipation of that up air not actually connecting. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like, maybe he was expecting it to be shielding and therefore, uh, you know, continue pressure with, like, a back air or something like that. I respect it. All right, now, catching all of Swigzy's defensive options right now, not giving him a chance to land safely. All right, I'm surprised that Swigzy isn't trying to farm for a blue <laughs> right now. Having blue at his disposal would be really big. I mean, I don't. I think Tyler's just not giving him a chance to do so. Nice. Yeah, that's actually, that was such a crucial pickup. You saw how close Ice was to getting Arsene right there. Mm -hmm. And if Arsene came into effect, then they were, then it was an even game. It was. As, as it doesn't matter how much percent Tyler had, he would have he destroyed him. Oh, yeah. But now, all of a sudden, Ice has to somehow weave his way through this armada of Pikmin without taking all of the damage in the world. And I'll be honest, right now he's kind of failing to do so. 26% yeah. and he hasn't managed to find a single hit on Swigzy since he respawned. But here's a chance. Here's a chance. But he... So, one thing Swigzy's done better at this game is not letting Tyler play with Arsene. Because every single time he's gotten Arsene, it's been off stage or Swigzy just hasn't... Swigzy just taken away from him, but let me eat my words. But there's Tyler Ice yeah. getting that back air. I, I do want to say that to build off of what you said right there, he was recognizing his lost conditions on stage. Re like, Ice was really looking for that down and down and off smash. He's been kind of fishing for it, and Swigzy was just never giving him a chance to actually find that particular opportunity. And now, as it stands, a pretty even game right here, honestly. <gasps> oh, that is the advantage, or of, um, like a slight advantage in this matchup that. You know, our, he can just hold down that uh, counter button if a Pikmin's on him, and he will get a ton of meter as a result. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting something. Not, mu not much. Something. I'm actually really curious how he's gonna, how he's planning to like sneak this back. No way from behind. That's crazy. Uh, I was, you know, I was also I was talking about how oh that counter can actually be a good tool in the matchup. And